Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast show, which is apparently number one on Spotify. And not anywhere else, because that's kind of sad. Nobody listens to us anywhere else. But today, we have a very, very special guest. But let's introduce our host first. We have Shufei. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. And we have none other than himself, the man himself, but with the alter ego online, known as Mark Chik Rosma, we have Arwin Kumar. Hello, I just posted a new picture on Instagram. Please go and like it. Oh, oh okay, cool. I will double tap it uh, after the show. <laughs> but today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest on the show. You have seen her online. She makes videos that make you roll on the floor laughing with capital L-O-L. Singer, musician, so I'm Jen. Hello. Hey, hey everybody, how's it going? Yeah, it's going great. It's going well. Okay, first things first. Thank you so much for doing this. I know that you're really, really busy. Jen's forever busy, you know. And in, you know, when you message her on WhatsApp, right? She'll probably reply you next year. Sorry, did you WhatsApp me? Oh <laughs> my. I heard the same thing from <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but things have been going really well for you, Jen. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, I think, thank you for saying that I'm doing well, but hello. You guys are doing insane, Jen. You guys are just like upping the game. Hello. Uh, no, you see, we try to fake it until we make it. Lah. <laughs> so that's why we brought you here. No, no, you know? no, no, no. You make it, then fake it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> damn. Like the Set. Isn't it gorgeous? Like those of you watching, visually it is super appealing, and I'm like, damn, son. This is this okay. So this is the first time we're actually recording in the studio. So this is all of our first time, and you're the first mm. guest to basically <laughs> <laughs> to break the ice of this brand new podcast studio, JTV studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking yeah. really good. So yes, but, but but what's been up, Jen? I mean, like uh, we saw you. We, 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 where were we? Uh, we were at the launch when we saw Callum Scott, right? Yes, yes. Yes, yes I mean, what's been up uh, before that or, you know, after that? You know, what have you been up to? I've been busy making videos, conceptualizing, and um, I think one of the things that has been on my mind is this latest video that I'll be uploading tonight, actually. Wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're listening to this podcast, it's probably already out, so you should go check it. <laughs> Yeah, and this one is uh, in collaboration with a skincare brand. Mm -hmm. And the thing about this one is, I want a skincare ad that is not, you know, senior and then and then <laughs> very pretty and, you know, like I wanted to do something a bit badass. So uh -huh. this video is like a lot of punching, a lot of if five women, five strong women in their own field doing secret agent stuff. So oh. that is the concept of the video. I've been ruminating, I've been obsessing of, uh, about this for over a month, two mm -hmm. months, from conceptualization all the way to delivery. So that has been on my mind. Wow. Yeah. That's very interesting. <laughs> oh, that sounds cool, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. wait to watch it tonight. <laughs> okay, so I, I think I kind of saw it on Insta Story. I think, mm. uh, let me guess, it has Marianne. Yep. It has Lenora. Yep. Um... Um, um, We've got Rubini, the oh, sassy, Rubini. sassy lady. Ruby, Ruby, Rubini. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, we also have Sue Hailey, who is an amazing dancer. Uh, back when she, I remember her from. So you think you can dance? You're from Confirm Don't Know. So you think I you know. can dance the the Malaysian version? Oh, oh no. no. Uh, I didn't know there was a Malaysian version. What? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know there didn't was know. a Malaysian version of So You Think You Can That's Dance. That's where I met I, I really Dennis Yin. That's huh? where I saw Dennis Yin for the first time, the skinny guy. Uh, Last time, the time when he was dancing on stage, he was super skinny. Oh, yeah. That oh. show. Dennis, you know Dennis, right? He used to be super skinny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and okay, like, I'm, I, I don't want to quote him, but I remember him telling this to me. The only reason why he went to the gym at, to bulk up is because uh, as a young kid or in high school, he used to be bullied a lot. And then he always had this thinking, right? Okay, cool. Uh, these people will bully me because I'm small size. Okay, lo, I'm going to bulk up so they won't bully me. And that was his inspiration since then. I have, I have met I have this one friend, um, ex-friend. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, before, you get, before, before you get there, why, why ex-friend? Oh, because... Ex-boyfriend, I understand. Like, no, 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 ex-friend. No, because okay. it used to be a friend. And then after that, somehow the he bulk up which I'm really, really super proud of him. But then after that, he bulked out, he became super vain. Oh. Mm. Like every time he's like, always fixing his hair, always like doing this in front <sighs> of everyone. Take off his shirt whenever he gets the chance to. Oh, wow. And um, I mean, that's all superficial. But then it also kind of like that, that vanity leaked into his actual personality. Oh. And the conversation, you know, when someone just keeps talking about himself or yes, herself, yes. it's a lecture already. You're sitting oh. down there just listening. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. 
I felt that he became that person and for me, it was very difficult to relate to that and so unfortunately, became ex-friend. Oh, but before that, were you guys close though? Yeah, we were super close. We were super close. <gasps> oh, that's oh. so sad. But I... Okay, if a guy becomes a bit more confident or... I don't know. For me, it's... All of us have our own very uh, uh, hidden insecurities. For me, I was once overweight. We all talked about this before. <laughs> but once you work on it, yeah. like for example, I lost weight. Mm. I No, I don't think I became confident. I don't think I... <laughs> yeah. Because every time I go out, I see a guy. I see a guy. They have six packs and they have these muscles and everything. And then they can move their chest and stuff like that. And then... Like Dennis Yin? Yeah, like that. <laughs> 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 and you know, all these magazines, right? They always like... It's, okay, it's either they put a really hot girl who was probably pan-Asian or white on the, uh, on the front cover, or they put like a guy with six-packs and muscles and everything on the front page, which mm-hmm. always gets me thinking that, like, you know, girls... Okay, for me, like, it's a guy. like Girls will only date guys with six-packs. And then girls will probably assume that, oh, guys will only like girls if they're skinny and, and, and they're like, you know, slender and then no, a flat ass, you know, nothing, this and that. I, I, I don't know. I mean, what is your take on that? Ooh, let's let's hear from the other generation first. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I'm curious, I'm curious. What do you guys think? Like, um would is is physical very important? It's not that important, but I feel like everyone has different preferences on what they like sure. in a person. Yeah. For me it's a bonus life. If you got nice body, yeah, it's yeah, definitely yeah, a bonus yeah. life. Like, oh. Like you prefer what? Chicken breast or like chicken bones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I prefer something with you know, meat. Uh, <laughs> okay, yes, then yes, it's true. Every different person has like a different preference. Preference in terms of like, you know, opposite sex physique attractiveness. Mm. I don't know what the hell I just said, but <laughs> okay, like like hey, sound hey, legit. Yeah, it sounds okay, I hope it sounds legit. But like for me, okay, well, a lot of people, okay, here's the thing. This is this is like straight up very narrow minded, like, okay. Uh mm. when you ask a guy what you like about a girl, the first thing be like, Oh, I like the body and mm. I like the the mountains, you know? Okay, which mountain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, Everest and Kinabalu. And then uh. some will say the face. For me, it's different though. I What uh, kind of catches my attention is the girl's arms. What? Oh, okay, okay. Let, let's describe that. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, I, I'm straight, by the way, straight away, I'm thinking about Michelle. So, <laughs> so tread lightly. Well, Michelle's already had a kid. So, you know, you can't judge. But no. Like, what do you mean by arms? Like, like what um, sense of I, I think it? I understand. You get it? Like, yeah, I okay. have friends who look at the leg. The legs. legs are. Yeah, the legs. So, okay, so a girl may be interesting or whatever not, but for me, it's um, like when her arms are really, really toned. Toned. Okay. Yeah, toned. It doesn't have to be muscular. She doesn't, she doesn't have to go to the gym, you know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, when, when I when I see a girl and I see her arms, especially when she wears those tank tops. Uh, is, it, is it called tank tops? Uh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like spaghetti strap. No, it look, okay, for guys, if we wear that, it's called wife beaters, those type. But for <laughs> girls, no, 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 but, but, no, but for girls, what is it? Like those like, like go inside, like that one. Um, it like, could be a crop top. It could yeah, be a tank yeah. top. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it enhances their like shoulder, the 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 bones here. So you like a little bit of like an athlete physique, S- a little bit not too muscular, just well toned. Yeah, yeah, slender. yeah. Like then, Jen la. Then. No, no, no. I cover everything. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Feel yeah. a bit insecure. <laughs> so when I see that, I'll be like, oh wow, hey, oh hello. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah. Interesting. So yours is the arm. Mine is, I think. I don't like typically I don't like everything anything normal. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like my life. And, uh, <laughs> I I really like it when my partner looks racially ambiguous. Huh? huh? What does yeah, that mean? I like that. It's I like it deep, when yeah? hey, are you Chinese? Are you Malay? Are you Indian? Oh. Are you white? Are you not white? Are you Coco? Are you what? What's going on? Like for me, I like that. I think racial racial ambiguity in your a uh, physical physicality, I find it very attractive. So, so like John, for example, John. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think that he's um, uh, he is Malaysian, makes a little bit of um, Eurasian kind of thing, but he's pure white, and yeah. I like that. Oh. I like that a lot. And that is one thing. Number two, language is very important. So I like it when someone has I can has the capacity to speak more than one language. Wow. I find it very attractive. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So like if someone can not just not just about the language, it's also maybe the accents that they can pull off. Mm. So for example, he can speak like this, but also he can speak like this, you know, just to make you laugh or can speak like this or something like this. And I like it when it's just very curious. It makes me very interested when mm. a guy has all those um unique Facets. That's right. These are people you call Dan Line Line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. category. Yeah. What about you, Arwin? I mean, yeah, what do you look, what know. do you what do you what do you focus on? 
uh, it's gonna sound very uh, um, uh, very cringe um, e but for me I mean of course uh, physique is a bonus point but I love people who are gold diggers. G O G O A L. Oh wow, <laughs> gold diggers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I don't know, but something about people how, who are so ambitious just turns me on. Like I love people who know exactly what they want to do in life, how they're gonna do it, uh, and 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 what it takes for them to do it. Like people like that are just so attractive because. That oh. means they, they work hard for everything they get in life. They don't get things easily. Exactly. So I love people like that. But I, of course, you know, <laughs> the looks, Wait, the dancing, physique. Dancing, dancing already. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. a bonus point, like, which okay. also got in the marking scheme there. Yeah, I, yeah, I have some friends who actually, like, you know, when they meet a friend for the first time, and then especially he's, if he's from a startup, right? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, oh, no, I do this in a year. Uh, in about five years, we're going to sell it for about $100 million, and then uh, we're going to probably buy a private jet and make it in the States and whatever not. And then he goes, like, oh my God, oh, yo, he's, he's so sexy. I was like, you sure? No, he's damn ugly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I get, I, I get what you mean. Yeah. Shufe. What? I'm pretty sure all the guys want to know what you what you kind of look for. Yeah, what's your preference? My yeah. preference. You can uh, whisper so that all the guys will be like. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. I damn traditional. Steam skate, one steam skate. Skate. Traditional. Wait, wait, wait yeah. let me guess. Tall, dark, handsome. No. Oh, okay. That's no, that traditional. Tra- what? No, doctor, like, lawyer. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dota player. Dota player. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I like. I prefer like a family guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, Someone who treats his mom well. But wait, here's manners. the thing. Mm. First impression, you cannot tell whether the person's yeah. a family yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. Ma, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. first impression, let's talk about that. First impression, yeah. Uh, if like that, they have to see the appearance really, uh, right? Okay. I think he has to have a nice smile. A nice, nice smile? smile. Yeah. Do I have a nice smile? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go home, go home, sleep first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Th- uh, thank you very yeah. much. Smile. But I always pay attention to how they treat people. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Like how, how mannered they are outside. Some girls say that I would Oh, okay. Some of my friends said I would need to pay attention to how my boyfriend treats their parents because that's how he's gonna treat me when we get married. Interesting. Mine is how they treat the waiters. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh. very, very, very. I pick yes. up on this when they're very rude to waiters. They treat waiters like commoners. I cannot take it. That's when it's a turn off for me. Yeah. So oh. I think that's a very good point. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. pay attention to how he or she uh, responds to other yep. people. Yeah. That's very funny though because the first time. Okay, wait. When, when was this? Let me think. When I was in college, when I brought a girl out. For the first date, I kind of like this girl, la. but then again, we broke up. Anyway, um, <laughs> huh, it's not Michelle, all right? Um, we went to a Japanese restaurant, and this person kept giving me the wrong order. And no matter how, I was very irritated, la, obviously. I was so upset. But, you know, you kind of have to make an impression of, you know, to the girl. Come yeah. on, it's the first time bringing her out. So mm-hmm. I, I, I was, like, very patient. I was like, oh, it's okay. It's all right. You can bring me the food, although I'm starving. Like, you know, like, really starving. I was close to gastric already, la, okay? Then he brought the... Then after the second time, he brought the wrong one again. And he brought my then ex-girlfriend the wrong plate as well. And I'm like, oh, yo, what's going on? After the manager came, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I was like, it's okay, it's okay. At the end of the whole date, I don't know what I did, but it sealed the deal. And she told me, that like, I like it how you were so patient to the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> See? But talking about relationships, like, I want to ask Jen, because mm. you said you're not like the norm, you don't like to do normal stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm. Certain women, they do not like it when men um, do things for them. That means even the simplest gestures, like opening a door for you, or like, op- oh or, or, like pulling out the chair <laughs> for you, or like, um, like, you know, just all the sim- simple stuff. But certain women enjoy it. What do you think? Oh, actually, this is very, 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 very interesting. I've never really thought about it. But um, I'm going to take John, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, only like maybe a special occasion... And we get uh, uh, we hitch a ride, and then he opens the door for me. Wow, my heart tingles, <laughs> one. My heart, like, wah, mm, wah, dang, uh, right? Uh, and then other times he d- he d- he won't do it. It's just like you know, every other day you can I can just carry my own bag. Oh, open the door for me, cool. You hold my bag, I'm angry. What? I don't uh, like uh. it when my partner, like a dog like that, carrying my bag. I hate the idea of that. So that's why I'm split. Like there's certain things that he does. It's just uh. very like it. it it portrays chivalry. Mm-hmm. I think that's very okay. old school, very something very romantic about it. But there are certain things that I feel very uncomfortable. For example, holding my handbag. I think that is if a girl you carry your own handbag, you bring your own handbag, you own your own handbag. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the yeah, guy yeah. shouldn't stand around <laughs> yeah. and like you know go to the shopping. I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that's how that that's my split right there. Okay, but what if like okay, what if your boyfriend were to give you his wallet? Hey, can keep for me, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind that's that. It's completely fine. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, but the boyfriend holding the bag thing, right? Yeah. I'm like, 
I, I agree that the guy shouldn't hold it, but I think some situations okay. Like let's say you want to try on clothes, uh, then he hold for a while. Then you you go and change or whatever. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. It's so like situation is okay, yeah. Like I said, like, some women enjoy it. They they actually want men to 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 like, like hey, can you like carry the bag for me? They want men to do that for them. But some women mm. feel like, you know, like I can do it on my own. I don't think yeah. I need to be babysat. Yeah. So it's like it's like very different. So that's why I wanted to know what type of I think it's it's very it depends on the situation. Like if I go to the toilet and then the toilet like very wet and very gross, very dirty. Yeah. And I don't want to hang my handbag anywhere. And then I don't want to like you know ninja my in the toilet. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I pass the bag to John. Like hey, can you hold this for a bit? I just go to the toilet. And what, about food? Food. what about food? Food. What about food? When it comes to food, when you go to a restaurant uh-huh. or wherever to makan. Yeah. When it comes to the bill. Oh. oh. Ah, what this is not very think? simple. It's not very simple. I like to pay, then the next one he pays. I pay. Oh. Right. You yeah, take yeah, th- you yeah, take yeah, turns, yeah. Out, right? Yes. Oh, I okay. like that. I really, really appreciate. But you don't that. have these expectations. Like, oh, you're the guy. You have to pay for everything. Let me think. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Or mm. if he pays for dinner, I pay for dessert. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, oh what a, what a, hey, no, no. He pay for dinner, <laughs> then he pay for dessert. You see, the thing is, dessert. Most of the time, guys don't eat dessert. Are you, know? you quite cheap, are you? <laughs> if I want to eat dessert, he he no choice, or he have to bring me, uh. Yeah, but he won't eat. So this is like Michelle. Uh, okay, so mm. when I first started dating Michelle, right? Okay, I okay, like, to be honest, I was quite broke, lah. But mm. I tried to cover it up, like by mm. dressing properly. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> but it kind of shows. We went for. I remember. I remember when we first went out to Makan. It was Nando's. Okay, and the bill came up to like about, I think about sixty-seven bucks or something like that, lah. But the thing is, I can pay. But when I was about to take out my wallet to show how manly I was, she's like, <laughs> uh, then she, she basically stopped me and said, you know what? Um, I don't expect my boyfriend to pay for my meal. We can go <gasps> wow. split. And then I'm like, oh my God, I found heaven. Wow. <laughs> I was so damn happy, you know, because like my previous girlfriends, right? There was one who, who freaking hinted me uh, to buy her Gucci back then. I didn't know what the hell Gucci was. <laughs> and then she brought me in my school uniform to walk into, was it Star Hill? Uh? Star Hill, uh, I walked yeah. in one place. Oh I was like, ma, what is this Gucci? And I walk in and I saw a handbag, which is, a, uh, which is in the shape of a D. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think it's a D. Is it Gucci? I can't remember. Dior, la, Dior. or whatever. La, okay. Great. I looked at it and I, and I and I saw and the bag was two thousand seven hundred ringgit. I'm like, what the hell would buy such a small thing that can't even fit? Okay, back then handphones were big, lah. They can't even fit a handphone. Mm. Then I said, you know, what would you put in there? Oh, you know, just the essentials. I said, you put tissue paper inside there, so it's too, it's too, it's too <laughs> packed already, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I I yeah. So when she told me that, I was like, I was so happy because you know we can go AA lah. They they call it. She calls it AA. Is it is every, is that what people call it? A A. A A. It's like a what lah? Battery lah. Double A battery. No, she says yeah, exactly. I think that's the reference. She said oh, we all go A A means we all pay ourselves. When I go out with her cousins and everything, so she said, like, uh, who's paying? She said, oh, we all A A. I'm like oh, okay. What does it stand for? A A lah means like uh, we all go Dutch lah. No, no, but, but AA, AA don't, like stand, don't stand for that. I don't know. I, yeah. I kind of like what Arvin said though. A is because two, two AA batteries, you know yeah, what I mean? So it's like battery. double A batteries. So, so you, take, you take two to power one thing, you know what I mean? So I, I guess so. But yeah, so split the bill. <laughs> Never but, heard of it. I'm so, going to research this too young, too Yeah, young. so <laughs> the first date was amazing. Then the yeah. second date also we paid. After the third date, yeah, we paid. After the fourth date, uh, also we paid. I think it came to the seventh date, it's like uh, when the bill came, right? And again, of course, I will always offer to pay. And it's time like, oh, I got no cash. Can you pay for me? Now I'm like, oh, okay. Now I start to pay. <laughs> mm. Now I start to pay. Now after the next day, so I paid. <laughs> now after that, she'll come back. Like, oh, you know what? You paid for the last two meals. I pay lah. Then she pay. Now after that, she never paid ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, the thing is, it's okay because like, I I think uh, in the long run, I wouldn't. Okay, you know what? I wouldn't say it, it happened after the ninth or tenth day. Like after a couple, uh, like a year or two. Uh, when she kind of realizes that, like, uh, career-wise, I'm kind of doing okay, and uh, she doesn't mind me paying because she knows I can afford it, uh, then she allowed me to pay. Because um, the one thing that I was really, really embarrassed about uh, when I dated Michelle was my, my kind of wo- like what I was earning back then. Although I was working for an entertainment company, but she was earning way more than my, I was, and uh, she kind of told me on the first date or something. She told me la, you know what she earns, and I'm like, oh shit, she earns more than me. You know what I mean? Okay, and question: Is it very mas- masculine thing when a woman or your partner earns more than you? To me, yes. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. To me, I uh. kind of feel like um, if I'm dating, that's why I, I, I kind of felt like very intimidated uh, or like I have to do whatever my ex-girlfriend told me to do when I was dating her. Right. She's like, oh, I wanted this, I wanted that, and I couldn't afford it, right? And mm-hmm. then the thing is, she could afford it. She just takes her parents' credit cards and goes swipe and everything or babysit, ba- ba- uh, just use her mom's uh, bags and whatever. Not. And I'm like, oh, you know, I can never ever buy those things for you. And if I ever did, it's me saving up for one entire year, starving and then buying it for you and then you're just happy. And after that, you use five times Times, that's it. You know, you want a new handbag. So yeah, it is. It is quite a bit like degrading in that sense. Huh? So Michelle made it comfortable for me she, when she knew that I was kind of earning a little bit more comfortable, mm-hmm. uh, a comfortable salary. Then she allowed me to pay, but she never expected me to buy her luxury goods. Luxury yeah. goods. Yeah. Until I went to Ireland one day, she's like, "Excuse me, babe, could you do me a favor? Could okay? I will quote. Okay, Michelle, <laughs> listen to this. She will probably <laughs> laugh because it's true." Uh, Dalinga, could you help me buy this LV bag from Ireland? I will pay you back. And I'm like, oh, okay. Went there, bought it, brought back, never paid me back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. that, that's how it is. But I know it's 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 Michelle. I'll do anything for her. Aww. Actually, relationships. Uh, this this topic about relationships is very interesting. One more question I wanted to ask you. Mm. You know, uh, like society, right? These days, they are very pressured by when you should get married. Okay, if you huh? reach a certain age, 28, 29, automatically like, hey, you're supposed to get married already by then. But you having your focus a lot on your career and, and your future and all of that, what do you think about this? Do you think like age plays a factor when it comes to... Nope. No. No, 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 I really don't think that age should limit you or at what time or what age or what specific specific season you should get married I personally I don't know because my parents are never like that they never pressure me to get married Ah. I think that's why I grew up knowing that I could be my own woman and my parents raised me up like this they never go like (laughs) you know your parents got married when we were like 21 and on our 21st birthday we engaged and we got two kids then and there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is that I think because of that, I have never thought about marriage. I, I've never... And also, I don't know if I need the whole hoo-ha that goes together with marriage. So, for example, like the proposal, yep. mm. the wedding dinner, like mm. just so much money yeah. spent. What's your ideal? Okay. What would you spend on your wedding? Nothing. Not <laughs> who yeah, actually, honestly, who would you eh? invite? Oh, who would I yes. invite? Oh my God. Okay, this is very simple. Okay, this is... For me, the most sound, in terms of uh, economically sound decision, mm-hmm. okay, I will invite my closest family, closest friends, and then I will Facebook live it. <laughs> so if you want to be a part of oh, it, just come and God. watch. That's okay. it. Oh I want you God. to be part of my wedding, but you know, I don't want to spend money and I don't want you to yeah. come to my wedding and spend money just to come and eat second grade food. You know what I mean? Like just, just be part of it. By watching Facebook Live. That's it. Yeah. Wow. I understand what she means. I hope I hope at that time, right, Facebook would actually put a donate button and say, okay, if you oh, want wow. <laughs> to give Ang Pao's, no problem. No such no such thing as like at least 250 ringgit per person, right? Because this, that's the standard these oh, days, gosh, right? Yeah. At least 300 ringgit per person, you know, yeah. for a wedding. Yeah. You can donate one ringgit. Yeah. You get like a, <laughs> you get half a million views, dude. You get five hundred thousand oh. ringgit, man. That's not no, bad. Me, I don't, I don't want to monetize something so special. Yeah, I know. In I my know. mind, that for me, that pers- that personally, that's how I view it. And um, from wedding before the wedding, there's the proposal bit. Now mm. I want to open this this topic to everybody else. Mm-hmm. Proposal, should it be very very special? Should it be very very publicized? Should it be very very private? What is your take on it? Oh my god! Everybody's looking at me because I'm the only <laughs> one. <who's laughs> Um, I was... Let's, oh wait, let's see. The past and yeah. the future. The future. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Let's go. Um, okay, so like, uh, for Michelle, I proposed to her in Disneyland. Mm-hmm. But it was the most... I was damn scared, lah, to be honest. Okay, this is how it happened, all right? Uh, for the whole entire day, I was carrying the ring in my bag and we had to go through a Disney checkpoint and then they had to empty everything. I freaked out. Oh. I freaked out and I dropped my camera oh. lens. My lens broke. <gasps> but it's oh okay. God. She didn't find out about the ring. 
And then we walked in, and the whole entire day, uh, I think uh, Michelle's uh, sister, Michelle's mom, how, 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 like, wait <laughs> lah! <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> Uh, wait, um, it's just both of you, right? Yeah, just okay. the both of us. And then um, I think uh, it was I think sundown already. She was going to shop at some uh, store, mm. some souvenir store lah. And then I, I said, okay, I'll wait outside for you lah at the bench next to the Christmas tree where Elsa and <laughs> Olaf was probably trying to sing in Chinese. This is in Hong Kong, by the oh, way. Okay. <laughs> And then I was like, okay, cool. In my mind, I was like, okay, how do I do this? In my mind, I was trying to like, you know, kind of like read. I mean, kind of think like what to say, what to say. And just before I could think, all of a sudden on my left, it'd be like, oh. there was this uh, guy, tourist uh, from China. It was like, there's a spit right next to me. Oh. And I looked, I was like, oh. Then after oh. Michelle, I was like, dear, what are you doing? I was like, oh. hi. And then that's where uh, I said, uh, I sit down for a while. She's like, why? What's wrong? And then that's why I was like, uh, she, she told, this is what she told me. You were completely inaudible. I didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my were God. Were you so nervous? <laughs> yeah, I was. Were you as nervous as you were when you saw um, The Rock? Uh, this was obviously Michelle's was more nervous. Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's not, okay, it's not about the fact that she's going to say no. Because I know okay. she's going to say yes. Yeah. Wow, so confident. <laughs> it's because she got standards. She's like, she, she has kind of told me like, oh, how are you going to propose to me? Uh? So I want her to remember it and always be happy about it. Not like, so tell people, go around telling people, these fellas are damn useless. They don't know how to propose to me. So I kind of like, uh, got very, very nervous. And then I'm like, uh, uh, jam a bit. Then I was like, you know, we've been going out for a few years. Uh, then after that, <laughs> I had a lot of things in my I had, I had a lot of things. I was gonna like, you know, like say this, say that, get down one knee, and after that, the fireworks go out in the background, and then you know, I say, Will you marry me? And after that, I was like, er, er, inaudible, inaudible, uh, <laughs> you want, will you marry me? And she's like, Yes. I was like, Oh, <laughs> okay. Then it was, it was nice that at that time she was happy and everything. Mm. Got a tourist to help us take picture, was blur, so asked another person to oh take a picture God. for us. Then Not with that camera that, that's broke, right? Yeah, no, okay. yeah. Then after that, uh, after everything died down, everything is down, her friends asked her, So, how did you how did you propose? How did he propose? <laughs> this stupid fella <laughs> did not get down on one knee. And I'm like, Yeah, oh. we were just talking about this that day. <laughs> yeah, I did not. I was just, they were just I don't know. At the I was bench. so scared. I was so scared. Mm. And for me, was, I was also a bit surprised because Dala, I talk them a lot. I make videos, mm. you know, I have no shame uh, when I go in front of people to host the show. But when it comes to Misha, I was freaking out. <laughs> Wait, is it Aww. because you are not usually cheesy with her? Mm, maybe no I think I yeah I don't think I'm usually cheesy with her so I will always think that you know she'll find me lame <laughs> yeah I've always had that kind of fear but <gasps> oh well but uh, you know what before we go on to the rest of you Jen uh, I would like to play the song because you know I, I it's the perfect moment for oh, it oh yeah okay but when, but when we come back okay, when we come back we need to find out what is the ideal proposal for each and every one of you but before we go anyway, you want to talk about this song you know how this come about because correct me if I'm wrong I may be wrong chances are chances I am. <laughs> that's just, uh, I will be wrong. Okay, this is the first song that you and John actually sang together and released as a duet together. Yeah, original. Yeah, first yes, original. original. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but this song, I wrote the song because I. it was so easy to write it because I remember the moment when we held hands for the first time. I remember the questions that I have in my mind and it was. It took me half an hour just to write the lyrics and the melody. It was the f one of the fastest songs I've ever written wow. and um, I think for me is one of the most special one as well mm -hmm. to be to make like a soundtrack for my video mm -hmm. so this song is called We Are and is performed by me as well as John Adele yes enjoy it we'll be right back guys I've been looking for a reason a chance to Oh 
was Jen's uh, We Are. Uh, it's actually the first song uh, released together, actually, with John. And John produced it. Yep, John produced it. John mm. arranged it. I wrote the lyrics and the melody. Yeah, if you're listening to us on Spotify, yes, you can hear the song. But if you want to watch the music video, it's up on our YouTube channel. Go check it out as well. We were uh, actually halfway talking about the ideal proposal. I was a complete mess. And obviously, uh, <laughs> uh, the worst, the worst... Uh, the worst example uh, to anyone, please don't do what I did, okay? Because until today, she still gives me shit for it. You didn't get down <laughs> on one knee. I'm like, okay, fine. But, uh, okay, continuing with this whole idea of the ideal proposal, Shufei. <clears throat> Actually, I don't have it. Wait, I- wait, wait, wait. Before before we go on, I, I didn't need to let you know who Shufei is dating. She's dating. <laughs> uh, she's dating a pro sports, e-sports gamer. Sorry, I have to say it correctly. E-sports <gasps> gamer. And this person plays Dota, okay? And he plays for PSG. You know what's PSG? What is small, it? Small, Paris no. Saint-Germain. I don't even know how to pronounce it. To be it. honest, I don't know a lot because they are a football team but they sponsored a Dota team. So it, it, it just shows you yeah, how yeah. big they the are. Stand of it. Yeah, and and they, played, they played T.I. You know what's T.I.? T.I. Yeah, isn't it a singer or a rapper or something? <laughs> 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 oh no! What's, what's T.I. again? What's he called again? The International. Oh my god, but I like your answer. Oh. I, I totally forgot there was a rapper called T.I. Yeah. But I remember! <laughs> I remember the song. The... Is it dead and gone? I, I don't know. I thought I thought it's like you can do whatever you want. No. <laughs> you, is that is that Ti right? I think so. Yeah. So okay. So she's dating a pro gamer, lah. Okay. I see. And okay. He's very high profile. Very very high profile. So okay, with that in mind, you painted a picture of who he is. Yeah. What is your ideal proposal? Okay. Honestly, I don't. Wait. Know. I hope you're listening right now. Yeah. Just. I'm just. <laughs> this is for your boyfriend. Ah, no, we actually talked about this. Oh, like, you with did. Our group of friends, like legit, like. Like few days ago, we were talking about this in our group chat. That's Uh-oh. funny. Yeah, but I don't have an ideal proposal because I want. Well, to what, what, what a bad skill! <laughs> no, no, no. But like, okay. Uh, I think the only thing that I that caught my eye when I watched like other people's proposal and stuff like that is, you know, I think it's so cute. I don't know if you watched Bright Wars. Have you Bride? watched Bright Wars? No, I, I have. Yeah, it's this rom com. So like the guy, he hit the ring in a fortune cookie. I think that is so cute. Like she. That's so ring. irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> what if she loves cookies and she just ate it and but swallowed fortune the ring? fortune cookie, you still got to break open yeah, anyway. There is a message it. in there. I never yeah, trust fortune so cookies. <laughs> yeah, I just ripped out the paper on the side and then... <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, but I, I think that is so cute. All right. Like, that's the only thing that really caught my eye. But honestly, for a proposal, I, I don't really expect anything mm-hmm. i just hope that the guy will be creative about it like i won't expect like oh i want it to be like this like this because like if i really expect right then at the end if he really proposed i would be very disappointed like oh why didn't you do this uh, i would oh. prefer if you did this but you know that's why i don't have any expectations when it comes to a proposal okay yeah all right why well, 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 your boyfriend's very lucky i bet he's <laughs> listening right now he's going yes oh my 
my god, but he always joke with me. He's like, next time you propose to me, yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, he always like that one. Why don't we set that trend then? Chufei, you be the first person to, to, to propose to him. I don't mind, actually. Oh, really? I'm just kidding. I take that back. Don't, don't, don't. don't I, don't. Th- I think I would, I would plan like the best proposal. Eh. What? I feel like I have it in me to do it. By waking up late? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so you know, Shufei came late to the show today. Yeah, I called her. my alarm didn't ring. Yeah, that's the normal excuse that you would give. I would call her, you know. I'd be like, sh- I just like very, very quietly, Shufei, where you are. She's like, oh shit. Then in my mind, I was like, you just woke up. <laughs> I'll be there, I'll be there. Then she messages you, I'm 10 minutes away. At 11, and then she arrives at 11.30. Well done. <laughs> Wait, go at 11.20. Still, that's not 10 minutes after 11. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, cool. You're not very fussy. Uh, Arwin, what is your ideal proposal if you were to ever propose? You have to, like, you You have to be the one proposing. <laughs> Wait, but <laughs> would you propose? Maybe I would, but, oh my god, yeah, lah, why I want to propose for? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no time lah, to think and be creative for, cannot lah, very busy. Uh, but if uh, if you ask me, means I would say my ideal proposal would be in a hot air balloon when I'm oh up, my God. Oh up wow. high in the so sky. The like- so if the person say no, bye bye, <laughs> <laughs> die you die. Nice How cue clapping, cue clapping, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Best How- answer. <laughs> that best say no. That's the best. I love oh that. My I gosh. love that. All right, oh gosh. Jen. Okay, so I'm going to give you a two-part answer. Okay? okay, The first one is something that actually happened. You know, guys, uh, I'm dating John Liddell, who mm-hmm. is um, a fully white person uh, <laughs> from the England, you know, the England. <laughs> and um, I proposed to him at a Mr. Tapenyaki. I said to him, yo, let's just get this over and done with. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, how long just, ago was this? This was probably about a year, year and a half ago. Uh-huh. I, took out, I took out one of my cheap ring. I was like, Let's do it, man. Let's just get it over and done with. Okay. That's how that that has always been my view of wedding and proposal. Like it should be in a setting that you don't have to set up. Oh. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that was one thing I did, and you could see John's face <laughs> turn so red. He was so shy, and he, he was like, "Hey, don't do this. Don't oh this. my god! He was so shy. Okay. <laughs> and for me, it's like it makes sense like uh, maybe it's easier for him to get PR Uh a visa or whatever Mm, so uh that he could stay here longer to be with me and I think that for me it was more of like a more sound choice you know to be together and get married right so that's one side Uh, he said never ever do that again please (laughs) 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 All right. Um, but then my I I don't like to use the word ideal personally for me I like it like I said to be as real as possible and Mm. as effortless as possible so I've got a lot of things that came to my mind I even suggested this to John and obviously he said no Mm -hmm. because he's a very he's a very old school romantic guy All right. Ah. what I want oh guys are you ready for this? (laughs) come on girl I want it to be a mama (laughs) (laughs) let it sink in for a bit I want it to be a mama I want just me and him and then we eat you know our my favorite chapati (laughs) Okay, he eat chapati or eat naan or something. And then the ring is inside the naan. What? Whoa. And then I eat, I open it. Whoa, what is that? Hard rock. <laughs> I was like, wow, this this mama. Food, health, health and safety, very bad. And I take out, oh, it's the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that moment is so funny. Or maybe like the, the ring is inside the dal. You know, I'm looking for it. You know, something like this. I like this type of unconventional story that I can say, yo, guys, I got, I got hitched <laughs> at, at a, a mama store. Mama store yo. Or like some Thai chow, you know, like it's like some, give me some tong soy inside a tong soy. People normally like the last dessert, you know, like mm. very nice creme brulee uh-huh. or like something tiramisu. Mount is the tong soy. I'm mata kucing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh that's, my god. That's so yeah. that's so funny because I like the weird weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. cuz that's how my mom got proposed to. <gasps> <at a> mama <gasps> store. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no at a, at a, at a mama store. Oh. Yeah, and uh because you know uh, last time uh, okay, my mom very traditional. So she said that last time my dad had no money to go buy fancy fancy. Okay, like, maybe he had a ring lah. Mm. Uh and then but no money to go buy fancy fancy dinner and whatnot. So but it quite a it, it was it was very memorable to her and the thing is my mom actually called up a radio station before to tell her story as well. Oh. And uh, so what my dad did was, because my dad also, so my mom says, I'm kind of like my dad, uh, very, got no balls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> quite scared lah when it comes to, you know, kind of trying to express your feelings because you kind of feel like, very cringy. Yeah. So what, he, what, my, what my dad did to kind of like, you know, uh, build his confidence was he rolled up a big piece of roti chanai, like, you know, like a newspaper. And he, he dipped it in dal and then he started eating like normal. Lah. That's like, like what he usually does. Lah. Then suddenly he told my mom, I, he wanted to say, I love you. But he went, I, 
Then after that, uh, he started bleeding because he bit his tongue. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> then my mom was like, "Oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on?" Then he's like, "Oh, he took out all his all, all, all his uh his uh his uh roti chana everything. Everything, everything, everything okay already. Actually, I wanted to propose to you." And my mom laughed. <laughs> that is <laughs> such a good story. Oh yeah, I laughed like hell, and that's how that's how my mom and my dad got engaged. I love that story. Oh yeah, oh. it's damn funny. Where I'm like, wow, okay, cool. I don't feel so bad for not kneeling down now. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Come do my dad proud, yeah, dad. <laughs> oh my god, come to think of it, right? I've never asked my parents how how my dad proposed. Eh? Oh yeah, oh, you yeah. haven't. Good... Yeah, I I only know how they met, but I don't know how that how my dad proposed. Wait, I, okay, that's a question I need too. to ask during dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think everyone should ask your parents like, yeah. how your how they got engaged. Yeah, this is the only time that your mom or your dad would embarrass the, they will both <laughs> embarrass the heck out of each other, la, you know? And yeah. then they'll be they you won't look at them as parents anymore. They'll be like, oh my god, my parents is either they got game or yeah, they got no game one. Yeah, I better up one. But yeah, that's 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 how it was. And uh my mom remembers it until today. Of course man. And 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 uh and it's funny though, uh, on my dad's wedding day, uh he forgot when he was you know when you get in the car to go teeth the sun leon right to mm. pick up the bride, uh he forgot to bring the bouquet. And it happened to my brother as well. <laughs> And then it happened to you? No, it didn't <laughs> happen to me. Because <laughs> my mom came in like, don't be like your father. I forgot to bring the bouquet. <laughs> and she came to give the bouquet to me. It's like, okay, I'll hold it tight. I'll hold it tight. Uh. And then just before I'm going to go, Jane, where's the bouquet? I'm like, it's here. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. So, yeah. I no, I got, I got another question right now. Like, should the, like, like, woman, should a woman propose? What do you think about that? I think, I think every girl would, prefer the guy to propose but I think it's okay if a girl wants to propose I would find it okay like if you ask me um, whether a girl should propose yeah. if you ask me what type of girl will propose in my mind uh, yeah. I would think that a girl who is like you know who owns a business who's really mm. really wealthy who's really really like you know um, powerful would okay. go yeah. to uh, go to her boyfriend ah marry me lah okay all right, shut up. Yep, you're mine. Kind uh, of okay, okay. So let's just scale it back. What about, let's not talk about proposal per se. Let's mm-hmm. talk about like the first move. So like the girl to go to the guy to say, hey, uh, would you like to go on a date with me? Oh my God. What is, what What, what do you think about that? Like, I think it's okay. That, that's, that's completely it, okay. Yeah. But the thing is like the last time I did that, uh-huh. I, I apparently I was too pushy. I was too forward. I didn't play the game enough or something like that. Really? So I'm very curious, like, is it is it really bad for a girl to be forward and say, hey, I want to go out with you? No. Does she look like a hoe or what? I don't know. <laughs> hey, if you do that, right, you're doing a guy a big favor, you <laughs> know, seriously. For me, any girl that comes yeah. up to me, ask me to go out, I, like, I say yes straight away. I don't care who you are. I don't see your face. So yes, first. You know okay, what I mean? Okay, no one's like you. Not everyone's like you. <laughs> I feel like if the guy likes you back, right, he wouldn't think you're pushy. He will oh. really like it. Yeah, but if he doesn't like you, he will probably say you're pushy. Yeah, it's all about yeah. whether they like you or not. Yeah. But also, I think it's it's very normal already for girls not to ask guys. It's normal for guys to do it. So I don't think many girls think it's it's oh, okay or it's 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 the right thing to do for you to make the first move and ask them out on a date. Because I really think that the girls should make the first move. I think like, you know, we're, we're fighting for equality, right? Yeah. For example. And I feel like, like how we first met the video... I held John's hand for first. Yes. That was my move. And oh. I think the reason, another reason why I wanted to make that video is also to like subliminally, the subtext is to say, you know, women, you can, you can make the first move. Mm. Yeah. It's not cringy. It's right. not pushy in my opinion. Yeah. That's what I personally think. And I feel that when the girl makes the first move, it's showing like the other side of things that can happen right now. I think it's very sweet, eh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Talking and about sweet. Do you watch Jen House proposal? I oh, did. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh my God. Congratulations, Jen How. I mean, yes. I hope you listen to this. I'll force you. La. I'll probably just <laughs> for you this link. Listen to minute this. Yeah, okay? Yes. Oh my God. That okay, that was that was a lot of that was a lot of I mean effort. But it was la. very simple. Yeah, it yeah. is very simple. Just a room of pictures. Yeah. Then his closest friends. Yeah, a- a- if you must know, uh Jen How, who's probably the biggest YouTuber in uh Singapore, recently actually uh uh, proposed to his girlfriend and what he did was he worked together with his existing clients because he works uh, with sketches la. so yeah. I mean they have a very good relationship so he worked with them and I think like a few months prior to plan a fake event 
And he because he knew the whole entire YouTube community, so he invited everyone. And you know, when they go for any events, they'll see the same faces again. So you know what? It's like a real event. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they brought everybody together. It's like a real event. And then they brought Debbie. And uh, this, they were supposed to go into this secret room um, promoting some yeah. shoe. And then, you know, uh, they sent a Kenji, KG in first. And he was like, oh my God, this place is amazing. It's amazing. So then after that, he was like, obviously it was planned. Lah. He's like, oh, Debbie, why don't you go in next? And then and she, when she went in, uh, she took off a blindfold and then there were about 200 pictures of her and Jen Hao down memory lane from, the first, well, from when they first met to their first holiday. Um, and he wrote uh, handwritten notes uh, after every picture for her to read. And then after that, he, she will walk, 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 walk. And then there was like a flower petal trail. And then after that, there's Jen Hao. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. And then, you know, he, he, he got on his knees. I was like, damn it, he got on his knees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michelle watched it. See, even Jen Hao got on his knees. I'm like, ah, oh, dang He it. practiced, you know. Yeah, he practiced. There was like, what? Okay, which leg is nicer? So, like, oh he was showing at the, on the vlog. He was like, okay, which leg is nicer, guys? So he like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. and 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 so it was cute. like and he got out on one knee and then uh I mean he was already insta storing it like before the before the video was released so I texted him I was like dude I'm so happy for you you know because like uh, I've known Jen Hao for a really long time and I know who he's dated I know that he went through a hard time and Debbie was the one who really picked mm-hmm. him up and then um at first she was very behind the scenes and all of a sudden I know she was very I know everybody knew who she was and she kind of brought the best out of Jen Hao so yes. Jen Hao I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Oh my god. I yeah. don't care. We are self inviting ourselves for your wedding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. I mean, we have over, all of us here. I mean, okay, Jen, you've worked with Jen, how? Yeah, yeah. No, we just watched the Facebook Live. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably will. Yeah. He probably will, yeah, yeah. you know. Oh my wow. god. Your IG Live. You, know, you want to know how I know Jen, how? How? Like, how, how he, he and Debbie followed me back. It was like a very unexpected thing. Okay, so like when Jen, how and Debbie first got together, right? Yeah. Um, I was already following Jen, how, man, because I like to watch his videos. And then you know how he was with his ex before, like mm-hmm. you know me, right? So um, I got quite annoyed because when he when he started out with Debbie, everyone was commenting about Naomi. Oh. Yeah, and then I, I was like, oh my god, that is so mean. Like, what if Debbie reads through the comments? Yeah, like, that- I wouldn't want to be in her position, you know? Because mm-hmm. it's like, like, Jen Hao and his ex is already over, but like, people are still bringing up his ex because like, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah, so I left a comment on one of his pictures because I got really annoyed already. I was like, I, I wasn't, Good like I was just like oh my god guys can you do you guys not talk about his ex anymore like just be happy for Jen Hao for once like he's already in a new relationship you yeah. shouldn't be bringing back his ex already right yeah so I don't know how but like he read my comment and then that's how he followed you yeah did you jump around the room I was like whoa like I really didn't expect it I was just writing that because I just felt very annoyed with like the audience like R- really yeah but yeah. you know what's so mature and professional mm-hmm. they are friends now Naomi actually. Said, yeah. she said such a sweet uh, uh, statement like congratulating both yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so nice now. to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody thinks nice. that Naomi and Jen Hao are not friends. They are the best of friends. Yeah, right now. and I really I like respect that. that. I really yeah. respect even that. Yeah, even closer than I mean, I mean, I know, I know all the all of them, and they are so pro about it. Obviously, mm-hmm. there was a period of time where there was like silence between the two of them, yeah. and after that, they just got back together. Jen Hao is helping her with a channel. You know, it's you know helping her build a channel and stuff like I that. I think Jen Hao is just an all rounder nice guy. Yes. yes. Wow. Wow. He really is. He is. He's a genuinely uh, nice guy. He is the nicest guy I know. He's really hardworking. Yeah. Um, he just like, you know, at the end of the day, um, every time I talk to him or I message him, right, it's all about, yeah, I'm working on the script, I'm working on the script. And he is, he is really, really uh working really hard. And and, and one thing about him is he's not the type that uh I'm busy my, I'm too busy in my work for my friends. Mm. He he's like, you know, anything you need, he's just he's there. I still remember, I still remember this is what happened. I was like Hey, uh, Jen Hao, um, I because this is after I proposed to Michelle, right? I wanted to invite people for my wedding. I messaged, hey, Jen Hao, um, um, I'm getting married on this date. And then before I could even tell him details, all right, cool, blocked. Yeah, Aww. and I'm there. You know, I, I'm mm. there. Uh, right. That's straight away. That's straight away. The next day, I like, can I bring Debbie? I said, yes, of course. All right, I'm there. Uh, this and that. He gave me details. Uh, he asked for details on where he should stay and stuff like that. He, 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 he will do anything for friends. And I've, I'm just really proud of him. Um, He's, he's been he's right now built a, such a, a really strong community for himself. Yep, uh, yeah. I think Titan Digital Media is basically yes. his company, and man, um, yeah. I, I, I today we are trigger happy with this applause, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. We don't we don't use it that much. <laughs> so many things to celebrate about. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, you know we've almost uh, come to the end of the show. You know we have to say thank you very much, uh, obviously to our guest of honor today. Uh, applause again! Applause again! <laughs> 
But I must take. I want to take. Oh my god, this is another opportunity. <laughs> it's not like she's not heard this before. But mm-hmm. I always say the same thing whenever someone asks me about Jen or whenever oh a conversation god, about yes. Jen comes up or whatever you know. Mm-hmm. I just need to let people know. Oh my god, this woman is one of the most hardworking, yes. dedicated, down to earth. Um, uh, person I've ever met in the industry. She same, has such same. a dynamic aura around her that is just so infectious. Like, it, I just, every time I meet her, I just honestly feel like just, you know, it gives you a sense of like, you, you bow down because <laughs> I want to learn, I want to, I want to, to, to receive, I want to adapt to, to the, the energy she has, the work, the work ethics she have. And the work ethics she practice is something which I find very hard to do. Consistency is the key, but it's something not easy to practice. But every time I see her videos, the quality yes. of the content she produce, honestly, I feel like, what on earth am I doing? I'm calling myself a content creator, but I'm not giving what I'm I'm actually uh, able to give out. So everyone out there, y'all should know what y'all see in her videos, that quality times 1,000 that is her in real life. Yeah. Wow. I love you so yes. much. Oh my God, can I say something? <laughs> yes. You know, um, okay, like even now, right, sometimes I feel so nervous talking to her. Like, I'm like, I, 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 ch- I You cannot- make me feel like I'm not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I'm like no, really. Like, because like the first time I met you, I don't know if you remember this, the first time I met you, me, like personally when we talked, okay, and yeah. Jen, is during the Samsung commercial. The oh. one that you guys... Have, yeah, the, the one that I was an extra. That was last year. Yeah, that was last year. It was We, we, sh- we were filming the slow motion yeah, video. Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. slow motion. Slow mo- slow mo- yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And then I, I remember I was so like nervous. But Jen just came out to me. She's like, hi. Then we sat on the bench. You know where we can eat there. Mm-hmm. So she was sitting beside me. And then she was like, hi. So uh, what do you do? And then I was like telling her, Lord, I just... Uh, I just got out of uh, uni mm-hmm. and now, uh, yeah, I'm not really doing much now. Like, I'm, I'm still unemployed at the time. I wasn't signed to you. Yeah, and then she was telling me about her, her journey, like to try more things, to go for like different things that uh, I'm uh, passionate about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she, she was just telling me about her experience. Yeah, and now I felt like, wow, okay, this girl is so down to earth. She'll just share things with me. Yeah, and I can see like she's very hardworking. Like throughout the whole shoot, you know how we have breaks in between, right? Yeah. She'll always be writing stuff in her journal. I don't know what she's planning. Yeah, but like she's so like into her work, man. She's planning the next world takeover. <laughs> yeah, like she's so hardworking. So every time when I feel like I'm stressed out, right? Mm-hmm. I think of that moment when I see Jen planning her things. I'm like, she is so much more like busier than me. But she can handle things so well and I shouldn't be so stressed. Yeah. Oh so I always gosh. remind myself that. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Wow. Yeah. I should say something too now, everybody. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh. Yes. No. Yeah, she is made me cry already, really please. Yeah, well, I, well, I met, uh, I got in touch with Jen, I got in touch with Jen, uh, I think a couple of years ago to work on, a, I think an SBM video, the parody that we did. Yeah. But I've always been seeing Jen around here and there. Uh, Jen told me that the first time she met me and my face, damn lansi. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But I think, uh, I think uh, you know, all, I, th- I think uh, the, I would save all of uh, how she's been through, what she's been through for another episode because that's really inspiring. But Jen, mm-hmm. I could safely say this is the only person that if people say that, oh, la, you know, her life is very easy. Uh, you know, it's she just posts pictures you know, and all these two videos, you know, what effort is like, ah, oh, this, this is where they are all very wrong. I've known Jen and I know she takes pride and takes uh, into intricate detail into whatever she does. Every single detail in terms of what she wants to send, in terms of messaging. Uh, and she's not shy to basically represent the females and say that, hey, you know what? Don't let the boys, you know, turn you down and bring you down to the ground because, you know, I'm a girl and I can do it. And she's the only girl in this industry who's doing it right yes. now oh and is doing God. it right. Yes. Nice. yes. Yeah. Nice. So, Jen, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank um, you. It's been truly, 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 truly fun because, you know, we yeah. know how, how John's going to propose to you. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, uh, I hope this is not the only time that you're on the show. We hope that you come back again. Yes, definitely a come back again. And uh, before we say goodbye, I just want to say one last thing. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for um, saying super, super nice things. Uh, I just want to highlight one little bit that uh, last year, I focused so much on work that I alienated my friends, my life and everything. And mm-hmm. I think... 
uh, this year it was more about connecting back with my friends. Yes. Just like what Jen Hal did. You yes. know, like whatever it is, friends first. And um, for me, I think this year was more about focusing on mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, not just working, working, working nonstop. So um, those of you who want to work really hard and to focus on your goals, that is cool. But your mental health has always got to be right there before um has got to be right before you focus on anything else so yeah just want to say about that you know work hard but also work smart yeah yes exactly so jen thank you so much Uh, and we hope you have you we hope to have you back at the show again it's been amazing sign up with a show shader okay everybody you want me to have face very show shader you must be hydrated (laughs) (laughs) all right thank you very much everybody thank you so much for listening in the show remember you can catch us on spotify on YouTube, on Google Podcasts, and also on iTunes as well. Follow our Instagram, it's at Momok Sessions. Follow all of the Instagrams. We're going to leave you in the link below. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll check back with you, hang out with you next time.